after a crazy start to the day with lots of speculation, the Blackhawks, Kyle Davidson finally pulls the trigger and trades Alex DeBrinkett to the Ottawa Senators. What's up, everyone? This is Jack Bushman from Lockdown Blackhawks. And yes, you heard me right. The Chicago Blackhawks have officially traded forward Alex DeBrinkett to the Ottawa Senators in exchange for the seventh overall pick and the 39th overall pick in the 2022 NHL draft, along with a 2024 third round pick. And to me, I think I have the same reaction as the majority of folks out there that this just simply isn't a big enough return for the, a player with the caliber of Alex DeBrinkett, a two time 40 goal scorer already at a young age has proven that he's truly one of the elite snipers in this league. And I just, I have a couple of big problems with this trade. One, they only got one first round pick, only one. Sure, it's the seventh overall pick, but there is a clear top six prospects in this year's draft, and it's not a particularly very good draft. Also, uh, they also didn't get a first round pick in next year's draft. The 2023 NHL draft is rumored to be one of the best in a long time, and they didn't add another first round pick in that draft. And they also didn't add to their prospect pool whatsoever. These are all draft picks that they have to hope they hit on in the past I know it was a different regime and a different front office that was in place, but they didn't do a very good job at hitting on those picks. So to me, this just simply isn't enough for a player of the caliber of Alex to bring it. And it's a sad day. It's a tough one, man. I still don't think I've truly grasped what it means that Alex to bring it is no longer a member of this team. Probably doesn't mean good things are to come for Patrick Kane and his future after what we heard Kaner say about his relationship with DeBrinket in his postseason press conference and how it'll be easy for easier for him to stay if DeBrinket's here. Now that DeBrinket's gone, who knows what it means for both Kane and Jonathan Taves' futures. Uh, and it's just a sad day, man. Really a sad day. And it's going to be tough for Kyle Davidson because there are going to be a lot of people calling out uh, for his job already, I know that's not deserving whatsoever, but the Chicago people are not going to be happy about this trade. We're going to have to wait and see what these picks turn into, but from first glance, it sure seems like a pretty underwhelming return for the player with the caliber of Alex DeBrinkett. For more coverage on this trade and also what the Blackhawks do now with their first round pick in the 2022 NHL draft, be sure to go and check out tonight's episode of Lockdown Blackhawks, your team every day.